Welcome to this episode of the AI Show, where we're going to talk about Bing Custom Search with Mahesh. Tell us about yourself, my friend. Uh, hey, Seth. Um, thank you for having me here. Uh, I'm Mahesh. I'm a part of uh, Bing API team. I'm one of the product lead for Bing Custom Search, uh, which is a new product we launched just four months ago. And uh, there are thousands of customers across the globe who uh, are using this product. Mm -hmm. And it's very competitive, and it's so easy to set up a quick site search experience using Bing Custom Search API. All right, well, let's dive in. Sure. So uh, Bing Custom Search, it is uh, part of Cognitive Services, as uh, most of you are familiar with Cognitive Services ecosystem, and we have uh, several APIs in Cognitive Services. And uh, here is where you will go to understand uh, more about all the search APIs, what we offer. Um, we go to azure.com, Cognitive Services, and Search Directory, we have all these search APIs listed. And if you click on Custom Search, uh, Bing Custom Search API, uh, you will see developer guide, uh, pricing information, and also um, uh, you can try it for free. We are offering 1,000 free queries for developers to uh, try it out uh, as well. And uh, we offer great support through Stack Overflow forums too. I see. So uh, now I'm going to uh, start uh, showing how easy it is to set up a custom search experience. So let's start with, once we go there, what is what is custom search? Like why would it, why would it be something that I use and how would I use it? Absolutely. Custom search is an ads-free product and it's very easy to use. Uh, it allows you to alter the results, uh, uh, alter the parameters at any given time mm -hmm. uh, just by allowing you to change uh, any parameters uh, what you want as part of your uh, custom search instance. Right. And um, it, you can use custom search in multiple ways. One is as a site search uh, where you just need to add a specific site you want to oh, uh, okay. surface results for your users. And that's it. That's all it takes to create a site search experience. And you can also use it as a vertical search. A vertical search is nothing but a topic-based um, search. Let's say, for example, if you are setting up a news company or a travel company, all you need to do is just add information about news sites or uh, travel uh, related sites and that's it that's all it takes to create a uh, vertical uh, search experience that's pretty cool all yeah. right let's dive in let's see how it, how you do it great so uh, i'm just going to custom search.ai uh, i already logged in using my microsoft account and uh, you can log in using your outlook.com or other uh, email accounts and uh, this is how the admin portal will look like and um, what I'm going to do for this demo is create a new instance. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a site search experience. And so an instance is like a new container for doing search. Exactly. So you're just um, uh, having it as an admin portal. You just create a new search instance where you are adding specific sites you want your users to see the results from. And that's what you will do from this admin portal. Awesome. So now uh, what I'm going to do for this demo is I'm just going to call azure.com instance. Uh, as a test instance I wanted to show. And now as a next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a specific site. I want to uh, enable a site search experience for my users. So for instance, I'm just going to say azure.com. This is where I want to surface results for my users. And to test whether uh, it's working or not, I'm going to say, for example, azure function. So this is the keyword. So um, as you see here, uh, as soon as I typed in Azure Functions as the keyword, I see all the results set here. Uh, what happened on the uh, back end is already uh, Bing Index is so powerful. We um, obviously, Azure.com was part of the Bing Index. And um, the we know that uh, a user, when they are performing a search for Azure Functions, I'm going to surface results only from the site, which is Azure.com, I added to my site search instance. I see. So this is literally like a search that comes from Bing, but that you're harnessing for your own website. Exactly. Okay. So okay. Uh, now, um, uh, and uh, it's not just one uh, site you can add. Uh, currently, we allow up to 400 sites. Uh, you can add up to 400 sites to your own custom search instance. I see. And deliver results for your users only from those uh, sites. And uh, also, instead of you manually typing all the sites, if you have uh, the this list of sites in a notepad, you can always use the bulk upload uh, functionality what we have in order to upload a list of websites to your custom search instance. And this is pretty cool because let's just say you have a network of bloggers, yeah. right? And you want to have a unified search across everything right. you do. Right. You just add all those websites and this custom search will return results from all of them. Absolutely. Cool. So the other key uh, thing is, uh, you know, if you don't want to show certain results uh, for your users, you can always Always use the blocking functionality. Think of certain forum results must be annoying for some of mm -hmm. your users, and you wanted to block those results. If you choose to do that, you can always use the blocking functionality. And for this example, I'm just going to block this specific uh, site uh, from appearing uh, uh, to my end users. 
So, I am just blocking this specific site here and uh, now when I refresh this uh, uh, query, uh, what is going to happen is this specific site which I blocked is not going to show in my custom search results and uh, that is what you see here. We also have other functionalities such as pinning. This is cool though, like uh, the blocking, like it makes sense because let's just say you are a public website uh -huh. but you allow people to put comments, Right. you do not necessarily want that to be a reflection of what people search for. Exactly. Cool. So that is where uh, a lot of customers are making use of our blocking functionality because they can decide uh, what kind of results they want to show it to your end users. Awesome. And uh, we also have other great functionality called pinning. Uh, pinning is nothing but uh, you have an option to pin a specific site uh, to appear at the top of your result set. Got it. So, you show only relevant results that really, uh, that a customer really wants to see. Mm -hmm. So, I am going to say for example, uh, you know I wanted to just surface this specific result set, uh, let us say for instance general feedback top ideas, I wanted to pin this specific uh, site to the top of my result set for this particular query. Now, when I refresh this uh, specific uh, query term uh, Azure functions, what is going to happen is because I pin this particular site to appear at the top of my result set, that is what you see here. So, pinning is so useful uh, if you have multiple products and you want it to during a holiday season, if your company wants to surface a certain product right. at the top, you can always use pinning for that. And maybe maybe even like for any kind of search, you want the most important yeah. information to you is this, you can right. give it the right. order of what. Can you give it the order for everything that shows up? Yeah, exactly. So, you have an option to customize the result set however you want and also this product allows you to um, uh, change uh, the um, uh, side, you can always boost a side, you can also demote a side, I you see. can um, re-rank, uh, you can change the order of ranking as well. And uh, we have an option, uh, other things what you can do is you have an option to rename an instance, uh, you can also clone an instance. Let us say if you are a sports company uh, having multiple sports products, uh, you wanted to create your own uh, site search for those products, you can always clone an instance rather than recreating and entering a bunch of information again. That is awesome. So, how do you actually put this on your website? Exactly. That is where I am going to uh, go next. Awesome. Uh, now, there are multiple ways a user can uh, make use of this custom search API. One, uh, we offer an API endpoint. Uh, what we do is uh, we return JSON response and um, uh, you can take the JSON and then make your own presentation layer or uh, we also offer a hosted UI uh, free of cost. I am going to show you uh, how we are returning the JSON response uh, so you get an idea. Cool. Okay. So, in order for me to uh, show that I need to copy the subscription keys and this is the test subscription key what, what I obtained and that is where I encourage uh, the developer community to go sign up for free so you can test it out yourself. Now, I am going to for example, enter uh, analytics as the query and then make an API call. As you see, instantly you can see the JSON response which you can take and make your own presentation layer. And lot of companies, uh, the beauty of our product is uh, it is not just for a particular segment. Uh, we have many startups uh, to a mid-size uh, to an enterprise level uh, companies using our APIs and some of the companies they do not have a lot of dev resources. Right. So, they do not want to invest time in building their own presentation layer. That is where those customers are using the hosted UI option. Right. So, with hosted UI uh, we are uh, as, as I was saying earlier uh, we are offering hosted UI free of cost and uh, there are multiple things customers can do. Uh, they can choose a different layout however they want to surface their result set. In this example, I am going to show a uh, um, uh, layout which has a search box. Got it. And then uh, we also have different color themes you can choose uh, between dark, uh, sky blue and uh, classic themes. And uh, you have an option to place what kind of uh, text you wanted to show it in your search box. So, I am just going to say in this example, Azure. Uh, Azure.com uh, search, uh, for instance, because that is the site I just added. Mm -hmm. And I am going to say I just want to show only 7 results per page. And uh, then I can choose a page title. I will say here search Azure.com. Uh, I can also add a, a logo uh, to it so that uh, it is easily, uh, you know, you can have your own company logo. I am just going to, I already have a logo URL copied. I am going to put it here. As you see, as soon as I make changes uh, on the left side, I can uh, see the changes reflecting on the right. right. This is not the actual result set, but it will give you a sense of how the sure. result or uh, the search page will appear. And uh, now I can choose a different toolbar theme and before 
I uh, hit save I need the subscription keys again uh, so I'm going to copy the subscription key from here and hit save now, uh, Seth, you may think that uh, how uh, can I consume this UI? Yeah. So there are multiple uh, ways you can uh, consume the UI. One is you can use the JavaScript snippet uh, and embed it as part of your application experience. And what we do is uh, we identify each custom configuration uh, with a unique custom config ID. That's so cool. that is how Bing will know that this specific search experience uh, is for azure.com because that is what I added to my uh, site search. And uh, like that, we issue custom configuration ID for all the in instances a, a customer will set up and uh, so you can either use this JavaScript snippet or uh, you can also use the HTML endpoint and now I'm going to show you by clicking this link how quickly I was able to set up a nice uh, site search experience so here we go so this is the site search experience I created using the hosted UI option uh, with uh, adding azure.com mm -hmm. uh, to my uh, site. And uh, as you can see here, this is the text I uh, originally entered in my hosted UI option. Now I'm going to use, for example, analytics. As you see, the result set is just from the azure.com. And this is such a nice um, uh, experience we have created by using our hosted UI in uh, less than a few minutes. And this is pretty amazing because, I mean, you have the option of getting something out there quickly. Right. Or you can use the API endpoint and make something that looks like it belongs in your site. Exactly. So here's a question. Like, mm -hmm. Do we inject ads into this? So as I was saying earlier, this is an ads-free product. Yeah. And uh, that is what a um, lot of customers are getting attracted to. Because you know, for instance, uh, when I'm uh, browsing a certain site, and one of the things personally as a user for me is it's, it's annoying how I get so many ads. Mm -hmm. And a um, lot of people may not be interested in seeing ads on their applications or their search experience. And that is where uh, we have a Bing Custom Search as a differentiator in the industry today. And mm -hmm. many companies or many customers across the world are moving to this product because one of the key benefit, uh, benefit factor for them is uh, it's coming up with ads free. And also it allows them to customize their result set however they choose. Yeah, and I like this because I mean, if I have a search that I mm -hmm. want to do, right, I, I can literally just do this. Yeah. Like we spoke longer than it took to do this and then get an API endpoint and make it look right. like it belongs in my site. Yeah, exactly. Is this a part of a subscription? How do you pay for this? Uh, this is uh, currently, uh, you can sign up for free and then um, uh, we, uh, as long as you have a subscription ID, uh, you just need to sign up for a subscription ID and then start consuming it. And uh, we are offering uh, $4, we are charging $4 per thousand transactions mm -hmm. and uh, for customers and uh, we have a great support mechanism as well. And not only that, uh, we are constantly learning and evolving. Uh, we really need customer feedback and it's not just we create product and uh, put it in the market uh, we are uh, very mindful of getting feedback from the developer community and then what we want to do is we have a backlog of a feature request that's been asked by several customers and we are constantly evolving our product in the next uh, three to four months uh, we are going to launch additional functionalities uh, as a part of uh, being custom such as awesome well. well thanks so much for spending some time with us Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you take a look at customsearch.ai if you want to get started, or just do being custom search. You'll be able to find that on Azure.com. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you for having me, Seth. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.